today we are going to learn something very important we're going to learn how to upload our products into our database meaning we're going to learn how to load the pictures from our device and upload them to our storage okay but um, before we get started first as you can see now it's like 156 it's late and probably i'll not upload upload this video now but anyways i don't have a lot of time during the day to work on this or so just try to do something for you guys during the night on our last video we had a bug it was an opening but what you have to do and uh this solution was given by one of the subscribers unfortunately i forgot to see his name but a uh, big thanks for you thumbs up and if you guys know a way in which i can improve the things i do feel free to tell me in the comment section and i change that that's how we learn so uh i had this problem once and my way of fixing was kind of di different and more complex but um, what you have to do is you have to let me close here you have to open Android folder and then here you have to open the app folder and open this build griddle and you have to come and add this line here multi dex enable true Okay, so you will not have uh, conflict version, conflicting versions of Android and stuff. I will, uh, I will put this on description, so you just have to copy it and come and paste it here. So with that out of the way, if you hit run on the app, and I should have started the app before, no problem. But because we did the configuration of add brand and um, and um, one second, 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 one second. I always have a lot of tabs here. Let me just close this. I'm always on medium and stuff. Oops. So here we have all the storage. I mean, Cloudfire store, not storage. Our Cloudfire store. And it's empty for now, but that's not an issue. Here we have our app done. We just hit manage. And first we'll create category, add category. And our category will be called. Uh, kids ads and we have category created then let us add another category now we will add here man oops but first let's go to our database reload and see what happened Perfect. If you take a look into our database, we have this collection called categories and we have one ID here for the document and we have category kids. So it's perfectly working. Now we'll create another category. Oops. Call it man. Add category. We'll create another category. called women that category we'll just create couple categories we're going to need mm, man woman done let me just put here formal like formal clothes right and um, finally we want access Sorries. Mm, and this is kind of oh, okay. Then we have to add shoes as well. I think it's important. Shoes. 
add category let's go back to our and as, as you can see we have the category here and uh, for each document we have men women and everything and we can add more category if we need to now let's go to add brand mm, the first brand is going to be Santos and then another brand at seven mm, add another brand spicy we're just making brand's name here add another brand oh don't v you just find any names let's see the changes let me try to reload this and here we have brands brand santos so we have the brands created as well so we are done with this both brands and uh, categories okay perfect now let us put this on full screen to be super quick because I don't want to take a lot of time doing this let me here on our screens we'll create a new screen create a new dirt file and call it add add product we're going to import our package flutter slash main don dot dart uh, let's go to our browser and in here image picker flutter we want this we want the image picker so let's get this dependency go to pub spec file again and write in anywhere in here then we'll do packages get then it's saying it's a duplicate oh we already have image picker sorry sorry I did not I did not know that um let me close these files and uh, let's let's start working as quick as possible to make this video as brief as possible add products we have you here mm, get dependencies import dart convert we will use that not exactly now and now let us create this stateful widget called add let me zoom in add product perfect in here of course we want to return a scaffold the same old thing app 
a bar color Let me define You know what? Let us do something because I don't want to be writing this every time because most of the time I'll be using color changing so let me create a new package here and I'll call this um, package name I'll call this utils for utility and inside this let me create a dart file and I'm going to call this color and here I'll just make use of okay just define some variables and stuff mm. okay we'll, we'll come and complete that work Af afterwards we'll copy all of these to that file but we'll create here material color to make things easier for us and we're going to call this white equal to colors dot white so let me just copy this and do the same for black so we'll just afterwards we will copy this to a particular file and then <clears throat> instead of writing this colors dot we'll just put this gray gray I think that these are the colors I'm going to use the most here okay we can take this basic gray no problem okay perfect now here can just write what white uh, then for the title we're going to have text add product and let's give a style text style for this then we just give color black. You know how easy it is now. And now uh, for the leading leading icon, I'm going to give your icon icons dot uh, close and color black. Okay, perfect. Oh, uh, let let us see what we have. No, first we have to configure something. We have to make sure that when we click on that add product which is in here we have a navigator dot push uh, then we have the material page route 
let me zoom it and inside this we have context oops oops or we can just give this dash and from here we're going to return add product And here just closing here we're going to have an error because we didn't import this class just click on it and we import the file done okay perfect Oops. The type color is not a sub type. Uh, okay. I think we have a problem. Not on this file here. Here we have to define color not material color okay let's see if this will fix our issue okay our issue is fixed define here color not material color it was a mistake sorry elevation will put 0.0, .0 because we don't want no elevation here or you can put 0 0.1 just oh, 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 oh. you can put 0 0.1 just to have a small difference there okay with that out of the way let us make sure we have a lot of real estate here so with that out of the way what are we going to do here is body okay and instead inside of this let's give a list view and inside of this list view we'll provide children and first we will define row again children uh, the first children is going to be outline button perfect and here we're going to give a parameter called border side then we have border side then here for the color we'll give gray and then for the we can give grid with opacity 0 0.8 I think it's going to look somehow better and uh, finally let's give this a width of 1.1 perfect for the on press of this button for now we'll just leave on null and um, finally we will add here something called um, child okay for the child we can use icon icons dot add and for the color of the icon we'll just give gray so do you see how simple is it just to give gray instead of using that colors dot blah 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 okay we still have a couple things to work here uh, first of all let's give a padding to this 
no first of all let let me put this on full screen to make sure you guys are able to see it properly and i just put my mobile phone on a correct position and afterwards i will show you the output while i'm able to view it okay let's work so um what's supposed to happen now is let me add some padding sometimes it doesn't give me the suggestion i don't like that okay i'll just hit add padding just like that okay that was saved um but from left it can be this from top it can be 14 then 8.0 then 14.0 again okay let's give it 17 and uh, just to remind you that I'm able to see the output so if I just be changing the numbers don't worry I know what's happening um, boo, 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 boo. 22 22 this is something that at the end of the day is really just up to you how do you think the, the numbers or oh, the, the, the size of the icons have to have let me just show you guys what I'm doing I'm just finding the right size for this button here and I'll give it 30 oh, 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 oh. I'll just give it 30 here and um, 30 here Here it'll give with two. I'm trying to optimize these values. Let's go big now. Let's go big. okay uh, the first part is somehow done um, so what can we do here what can we do here let's add another widget into this we're going to call this ex expanded widget of course Ooh. no 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 that's another but let's try to do something let's try to do something I'll copy this and I will paste it here and here okay and can we add padding into our expanded widgets no that's not possible okay but I know what I can do I'm doing things the wrong way I can add padding into this and I'll have to build the app again just click here add product and again come here to our outline and we will add padding to all of the tree add padding add padding to everything okay perfect 
and um, for this gray I can give it a passive of 0 0.5 if I want to okay and I think it's better I can increase this width to 2.5 as well the perfect so let me just change for the rest of them and finally for this one okay perfect and these are buttons that we're going to use to add our products Perfect. After this, we need a couple things here. Uh, the first thing we may going to need, actually, would be to put all of these, including the list view, inside of a form. Nothing will change on the UI, but don't worry about that. Again, I'm going to use key form key. This is going to be super handy, but we did, we don't have this very because we're going to be able to check the state of the form. So we need a global key of the type form state called form key. It's going to be equal to our global key and to specify you can write here form state perfect now after this product there we will add Mm, what else do we need now is this is done so we need to go out of our row and we need a text form field yes that's what we need text form field and inside inside of here we'll need our controller Mm, I will write product name controller and we don't have this variable so I'll just copy it and I will just paste it here so we need a text editing controller product name controller is going to be equal to a new text editing controller done the naming of this is not correct it's supposed to be like that so coming down here again again our controller will allow us <coughs> I'm sorry to access the values of our form uh, then after that what do we want mm. okay decoration then we'll have here our input decoration and then hint not. our hint text is going to be product name okay for now I think that's all we have to do in here and again now we are going to validate validator so we have our value which is the value we're going to have on that for which is going to be the product name in the case if we will do two validations here first if no product name is entered we're going to return 
you must enter the product name then let's run else if else if what <clears throat> value is greater than 10 so we don't want nothing greater than 10 we're talking about the product name to make sure it will fit on our UI perfectly um, all right product name can't have more than 10 letters hmm okay perfect okay we may need a padding for this so add padding and we can put this on something like 12 okay I think 12 is good enough and in here we are going to put a small text saying enter a product name with 10 characters at a maximum and then we can just for this one we'll give a style and text style for this guy our color we had to have a red there colors dot no you know what Oops, what's happening? Okay, I don't know what was happening. As a matter of fact, I'll define another color here. I'm going to call it red because we may need to use this a couple times. So we have the red. So, in here, for the colors, we will just put red and uh, font size, let's put something like 14. If 14 is too big, we can put 12. Okay. And uh, let's do first text align. We'll align this text to the center. Perfect. And we may as well add a padding to this. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, let's go back to full screen because now we may need to do some work like loading our pictures from loading our category name and our brand from the database. That's our task now. Um, just one second. 
just one second and make sure everything is right on my device okay perfect now um we have here a db so let's create a method and uh, we are going to call this method no 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 we don't have to create a new i mean i meant file we don't have to we can just go to the brand and category let's go to the brands and first we can import dart convert and do get I'm going to return a future list get brands is supposed to be get brands first we have firestore dot collection and our collection name is brand so let's make things easier for us so just create a string and we're going to call this ref giving reference to our collection name which is a string and here we can just write ref so collections ref dot um, snapchats second okay that's a query snapshot I just wanted to see the type you see it's a query snapchat and now try to write data being equal to this is not giving me exactly what I want so let's just put dot I don't need a wire here I need to use Stream, then query snapshot, then data. That's what they want us to do. So now, how are we going to do this? What's the best way for us to go about doing this? Oh, okay, what about we run a four? D in data. Can we run this like that? No. Okay, I'll do this data dot. I don't want listen, I want for each method. inside of data oh here I'll write snap 
shots. I think it's better like that. Snapshots. And here inside of snapshots, I'll write snapshot. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know what's the issue you're trying to give me, guy. the issue you're trying to give me guy type of null can be a sign of type of query snapshot okay we'll give this v v being the value that's going to be returned oh we better write snap shot but these names are kind of confusing so I'll just leave it snap okay perfect so what are we going to do now is we are going to do let's create a list and now we can call this list data Or better yet, let's call this brand. And then here, we can just add brands dot insert zero. And the element we want to insert is snap dot documents uh -huh. as a matter of fact we can now uh, You can do something even more interesting here because this is going to return a list and I wouldn't like to have a list inside of another list that would be kind of strange so what I can do is our brands are going to be equal to snap dot documents If we do like this, we are going to have a single document snapshot. Um, and excuse me to be just writing and deleting, but the point is I'm trying to find the best method for us to apply here. I can use a for like that. In i is equal to zero. Then snapshots dot length meaning that i must be smaller than snapchat's dot length 